Okay, in this video, uh, we're going to do something a little different for me. Uh, what we're actually going to do is some geometry. So uh, I'm going to use GeoGebra, uh, which is one of my favorite programs. And since we're doing geometry, I'm going to click over here on this little arrow, um, and I'm going to select geometry as my uh, kind of mode. Uh, it actually really doesn't matter. Um, so what I'm going to try to do is a couple of constructions. So the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to copy a segment. So let's say that I have uh, this segment right here. So copying a segment is probably the easiest construction that you can do. Um, if you look along the top, I don't know how familiar you are with GeoGebra. Uh, here we have uh, a lot of points. So point, point on an object. Attach, detach, that's kind of like a almost advanced thing that you might do, but uh, I don't really use it that often. Intersect is important, midpoint or center then complex numbers, so we don't really need any of these. Uh, we'll need point eventually. And then here uh, you got line, segment, segment with a given length, ray, polyline, uh, vector, and vector from a point. So all these have different uses. Um, what we need uh, to begin with is I'm gonna construct a ray. So I'm gonna construct a ray. I could actually construct a line. It wouldn't really make a difference. Um, so you can see I can't see the end of this because it goes on forever. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt it like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this line segment onto this ray, which means that I'll end up with um, another segment, a segment of the ray that is exactly the same length as this. And the way I'm going to do that is if I go up here, uh, I got circle, circle, compass, that's what I really want. So I'm going to pick compass. So basically I'm using a compass and a straight edge. So um, GeoGebra has a lot of stuff built in, um, but all I really need for this is a compass and a straight edge. So what I'll do is I'll take the compass. Um, in the real world, what you do is you uh, set your compass width so that it's uh, from A to B, but uh, I hate using a compass in the real world because they always slide and sometimes they're sharp depending on what you use, um, or at least pointy. Um, and I'm just not very good at it. I guess I just don't have the fine motor skills, but uh, with GeoGebra, it's not a problem. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this. So you can see this is um, the circle that it would make if I just let the compass kind of go 360 degrees from here. I'm gonna take it. I'm going to put it on point C and click. And it fixes this. Um, and what's kind of interesting is now if I go back, I'm going to click on this so that I can move. And if I if I drag this, it actually changes the size of the compass because the um, width of the compass is fixed to the length of AB. So if AB changes, then uh, the whole compass width will change. So that's kind of neat, and that doesn't happen on paper, obviously. Um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I need an intersection point. So I'm going to go here, intersect. If I intersect my compass with this, it gives me the point E. I'm going to create a segment. Do, 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 segment. Here we go from C to E, and that's actually it. I have duplicated the segment AB. Segment CE has exactly the same length, um, and that's really, in Euclidean geometry, what you need for two segments to be equal or congruent, I guess, if you're doing geometry. Um, so there you go. Uh, I guess I can, let me see if I can measure these to be a little more compelling. Uh, so I want this. Boom, 7.98, and then if I go here, uh, I don't want that. I think it's going to let me pick. did not let me pick. Let me see. If I go from C to E, what is C A? I don't even know what that is. Um, but if I go from C to E, there you go, pops up. I'm going to delete this. Um, and now if I move B around, they're always exactly the same length. Um, I actually can't move E. I can move C, and if I do that, you can see that E always stays 5.42 units away in this particular case. Um, so there you go. I have uh, copied a segment, and hopefully I kind of introduce you to a couple of tools. So the compass tool, um, we made a ray, and then I measured some lengths, one of which, uh, I don't know what it was, CA, whatever that was. Um, but anyway, I hope you found this helpful or interesting, and uh, good luck.